Hey, what is up guys, F64 here and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're playing a game called Poncho. This is a brand new indie game that just came out. Uh, actually, it hasn't even come out yet. This is the beta that just came out. Uh, the game has a Kickstarter going right now that is not doing near as well as it should be. This is such a friggin' cool game. Uh, so I decided I'd do a little, little video, maybe to help it get a little bit of support. Um, but yeah, so right off the bat here, you can see I've started playing a little bit. Um, but you can kind of see the concept right as soon as I start playing. I played a little bit of this, so I'm, I'm not bad at, uh, at the whole the platform thing. I'm not bad at this game. I played it a little bit. Um, so if you're seeing me, like, jumping right in and playing, playing this shit like a pro, that's because I have played it before. Um, but yeah, so you can probably see right off the bat that the, the, like, main mechanic behind this game is the fact that you can switch between all of these different dimension thingies. So, uh, it's a pretty simple idea, but as you'll see in a little bit, it can get pretty complicated with the stuff you can do. Uh, it almost reminds me of the game Fez, if any of you guys have played that, because, like, the concept behind both games, the, like, thing that makes them different, their twist, I guess you could say, uh, they're both so simple. With Fez, you can switch, you can, like, turn your, your 2D world into a, into a 3D world, 2D platforming world, and, like, rotate it. Here, you can switch between the dimensions, and they're both very simple, sound really easy, but uh, they add so much depth to the gameplay. Um, so here you can see we have this guy, we walked up to him and hit enter, and then once we get in here, it will give us uh, the ability to trade in these little red dots that you saw me collecting for keys. And a big part of this game is keys, you collect them and they unlock new shit for you. Uh, so you can see we have, I believe these are different colored keys um, that you can get, and different colored keys do different things. Red bits will turn into any different color though, so that's cool. And uh, I believe it branches out into like different, more different colors. Not totally sure, I haven't played that much of this game. Um, but that's just kind of what I'm assuming. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Uh, but yeah, let's see. Let's head over here. Um, I, oh, perfect. This does become a little bit of a rage game, so if you're one of the people who enjoys watching me rage, some of that might happen. Uh, so you can see there's a key back there, but it's too far me to far for me to switch directly back to. Uh, like that's what I'm trying to do right now, not letting me. Um, so what we're gonna do? There's a fancy right here. Walk through here. Oop, hello. We got that, and then we can jump up here, shift in here, and get these. Um, and there's actually more behind this. I just realized. Didn't actually notice that before. Oh, okay. We're walking this way apparently. Shit. <laughs> I meant to point out something that was back there. What the heck? I think that's like a warp gate. Let's see what this is. Um. Hello? I have no idea what's happening. I didn't even know you could go back here. I have not been back here yet. Uh, but this is an open world game, so you can go pretty much wherever you want. It's got some puzzling aspects to it, as I'm sure you've already been able to figure out. I've dropped to two frames. Um. I don't know what's happening at all. <laughs> I think that teleported me somewhere. It's loading, though. I, I hope. Maybe it just crashed and is now white screen. Oh boy, zero frames. Awesome. We're, we're on a roll. Oh, I'm back. Okay. Hello. What are you? Um, but yeah, the premise behind this game, I believe... Um, so essentially, the robots have taken over the world, like, in uh, so many different sci-fi movies. Um, but usually when that happens... Whoa. What the hell? Dude. Here you can see a little bit more of the complexity in the uh, the shifting um okay let me let me finish something that i was saying before so previously um a second ago i was gonna try and show you something where i like went back behind the building i'm like see you can't get that key because it's it's in a different it's too far away or something and then i went back there to get it um i never ended up ended up getting that key and i'm not gonna do that because i didn't even know this exi existed so this is new to me we're here now so, meh, I don't want to go back there because boring. This is, this seems so much cooler. Um, but yeah, so the premise behind this game, uh, to my understanding, is, so essentially the robots took over the world like they did in so many different sci-fi movies and stuff. Oh, I think I can, can I go forward here? No, you can't go forward anymore. That's just the foreground. Um, but yeah, so the robots took over as they did in lots of different movies and stuff. And, uh... But instead of killing all, well, I, I don't know if they killed the humans or the humans went extinct or something, but this is like many years later and robots don't know what to do with themselves. So they're all just like wandering around and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, 
I believe that's the story, and they're gonna kind of build around that further on in the game. Oh, my frames have left me. What is happening? Hello? What the heck? But yeah, this this game's cool because there's there's like a lot of exploration to it, um, which you don't usually get from a platformer. So I'm really enjoying that aspect. What what is happening? Hold on. Oh, hello. Yo, Dig, you were the guy from the intro. Freedom. Good day, minion. I'm not your minion, boy. It is I, the Junkyard King. This good clum is the end of the demo. This good chum is the end of the demo. Oh, really? Oh, I Cree. What? What? And in the, the entire game, because it's never going to be made, sending all the world's people. Um, hopefully it's made. Oh yeah, now they're advertising their Kickstarter, which, if you guys have enjoyed the demo, you should, well, if you haven't played the demo, you should go try the demo, because I didn't, I didn't explore the entire world. This was, I think this was almost like a shortcut to find the ending here. Um, and I haven't even gotten to show off any of the, like, rage and stuff. Uh, but yeah, you guys should all go in, support the Kickstarter. Go check that stuff out on your own. This is such a cool game. Really deserves your support. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and donate. Um, because this game, I, I really want to play a full version. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the game. So far, thank you for playing. And hopefully the game will be made in the future. And more of this journey can unfold. Yes, super hyped for that. Uh, so yeah, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed the link down in the description for both the demo that you can play yourself and the Kickstarter where you can donate and uh, Get us a full version of this game um, So yeah, let's I think we can go over here now Boop. Yeah, that'd be the end of the game um, But yeah, hopefully you guys have all enjoyed this video. I'm I'm hoping to do a little bit more of the like uh, indie spotlight type stuff because I do play a lot of indie games and I like doing like informative videos and stuff on my channel um so if you have enjoyed this be sure to drop a like let me know by showing your support oh i'm a goof um and yeah i will see you guys in my next video whatever that may be all right adios everyone